Hi grade sevens, welcome to lesson nine, part three. You'll see I've got two lessons on one page, but this lesson I'll be only doing tomorrow. So, um, let me just fold this. All right, guys. So our lesson for today, you'll notice um, it might be a little bit small to see, so just look at the notes that I've uploaded. So today we're doing substitution of variables into equations. So it says sometimes you can be given an equation with two variables. So for example, an X and a Y or an M and an N. But one of the values will be given. Then you will need to solve for the unknown variable. So the first example, I'm just going to do it on the back of this page so that you're able to see. So the first example says if y is equal to 7x minus 2, determine the value of y. So the y, this value, is the one we are trying to solve. And they tell you if x is equal to 3. Alright, so that's the sum given to you. They say y is equal to 7x minus 2. Solve for y if x is equal to 3. So they're telling you x is equal to 3. So what we're going to do now, we're going to rewrite the equation. So this is the steps you're going to show for every type of question like this. You rewrite the equation and you say if and then whatever is given. That's your first step. The next step, we're going to substitute in this value. So they've given you that x is equal to 3. So that value there is equal to 3. Now, guys, most important, when you're substituting in a number into an equation, please substitute it in with brackets. All right, you will see why I say that. So the 7 stays there. x, we said, is 3. Notice my brackets. Minus 2. Now, the reason I say brackets is because 7x means 7 times x. It does not mean we're just inserting a number there to make the number 73. That's not what it means. It means times. Please take note of that. I'm even going to go and draw my brackets. Very important. Okay. Now, I'll go on. Bodmas says, when I have a sum, what do I do first? I do multiplication, because here I've got multiplication. I'm just going to put a little multiplication symbol, and we've got subtraction. So we do this first. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. The minus 2 still stays there. Then 21 minus 2 is equal to 19. So there's your answer. Please take note how neatly I'm doing it. I want to see this exactly the same format in your book. Equal signs must be lined up. You must show why in each step. You must show how you substituted in, how you multiplied, and how you subtracted. I don't want you to go from that step to this step. Because in a test, that's one mark, that's one mark, that's one mark. So there's three marks. If you just mess up one step and you go on, I can give you method marks if you show you're working out. If you don't show your steps, you don't get method marks, so you'll get a straight zero. So please make sure you show your method. All right, now let's do example two. Example two says if m equals n plus 10 comma 2, determine the value of m. So once again, we're looking for that value. If n is equal to 2 comma 7. Once again, that must be your first line in your sum. Now we substitute in. Remember to substitute into brackets. So we've got 2 comma 7. They tell you n is equal to 2 comma 7. The rest stays the same, plus 10 comma 2. Now we've only got one operation. This is not multiplied by anything because there's no number on the side. So all we need to do now is add these two decimals. So if you can't do it in your head, you're welcome to do a sum on the side. Remember to line up your decimals, your commas. So 2 plus 10 is 12. 7 plus 2 is 9. 
right? So here your final answer is 12 comma 9. Once again, I'm going to go through the steps. Step 1, you write your equation if and whatever is given. Step 2, substitute in your number that's given. Step 3, show all your steps and step 4, have your answer. Equal signs must be lined up neatly underneath each other. Please don't do it in a row in one line. You do it underneath. If you want to save space, you can divide your page in half and work in two columns. And then tomorrow we will be continuing with this lesson and we will be going through flow diagrams.